Hey everybody, thank you all for joining. It's been a hectic day so far. After Jerome Powell frightening the daylights out of the stock market. After Jerome Powell. So, sorry about that. <laughs> and here we go, but it looks like we do have something exciting to look forward to, and that is AI Day from Tesla. And as you all know, I'm a huge Tesla bull, and in fact, is my biggest position now um, out there because of the strength of Tesla in this market. And uh, let's talk about AI Day, and let's talk about price predictions and what it could all mean and where the company is going. So with that, quick disclaimer, as you know, this is always edutainment. There will be a lot of numbers in this, so remember, they are numbers, that's all. And the story today is really AID is coming up uh, very soon. And they are going to always surprise, but also talk about a lot of stuff that has a huge impact on the actual stock itself. And we're going to dig into that. So it's going to be the key focus. Um, but one of the things that's fascinating to me is some of the things that Musk has hinted at. He's focusing on Things like physical work being a choice in the future, which means he will build machines that will do physical work so humans don't have to. And second of all, he also said Tesla is the biggest robotics company on Earth by virtue of the fact that they have semi-sentient robots on four wheels driving all over the place. Uh, I have one too, and I must say it never ceases to amaze me. So first of all, let's jump into AID, AI Day. When and what? Well, it's coming. AI is for artificial intelligence, and it's going to happen on September 30th in Palo Alto, California, not far from me here. And also, they should, maybe, we hope, unveil a prototype from its project Optimus. I'll talk more about that too, plus a lot of other news and perhaps a surprise. You know, Elon Musk likes to always surprise the audience with a special treat. I wonder what that could be. So let's talk about some of the gifts that we could get on AI Day. First of all, an update on FSD, which is full self-driving. Second, uh, talk about robo-taxis and how far they are away. Maybe some talk of Dojo updates, their supercomputer and their AI stack, what that looks like. When they did AI Day a year ago, it was all about the AI stack. And uh, then Cybertruck update. A lot of people are waiting for their Cybertrucks and hope to get delivery. Sometime May, June, at least the first one should roll off the line in May, June 2023. And they also have a new version 4 of the Supercharger Network, which is also a huge game changer for the business. And then the blue line, which is what we're going to be focused on, the Optimus bot. And I'll tell you exactly why it's so exciting. But before we do that, we'll talk about a little bit of the AI behind things like the bots and the cars. And that is their D1 chip. And each of these little tiny D1 chips has a ton of power. Each one has many teraflops of processing power, of compute power. And the entire chip that you're looking at here is capable of something like 362 or 363 teraflops of compute as well as 10 terabytes per second of on-chip bandwidth and 4 terabytes per second of off-chip bandwidth. And why is that important? Well, if you think about just one aspect of what this thing has to do, as you know, each um, Tesla vehicle has eight cameras. They process video. Every second of video has about 30 frames. Uh, each one has a res of about 1280 by 1980 pixels times eight cameras, times two major million vehicles. That is theoretically 480 million images a second. So to be able to run and automate a vehicle on wheels, to be able to handle all the edge cases it sees on the road, it needs to be very smart and process a huge amount of data as well. So that is kind of why it's so important. So we hope to learn more about where they are with their AI stack. Now let's talk about the really exciting thing, and that is... Optimus. So Elon tweeted back in June, they pushed AI Day out about 17, 18 days. I can't remember exactly because they want to have an Optimus prototype working by then. And Elon is not the type of guy who says he will do something and not do it, even though there can sometimes be delays. So fingers crossed they do have something out there. Now, in the Austin event they had a while ago, there was a kind of a prototype of what the bot people think will look like, but no, he confirmed it's not going to look like this. But the real bot is, uh, I think, about five foot eight or 
five foot ten. I'm not too sure exactly how tall it is. It's capable of lifting a lot and walking around at about five miles an hour, eight kilometers an hour, and all sorts of crazy stuff. But the question is, for you investors out there, will this be a buy the rumor, sell the news type event? A lot of people think that a lot of the pessimists and the analysts that hate Tesla because it keeps going going up are saying that. So a lot of skeptics are coming out right now saying that Elon Musk faces skeptics as Tesla gets ready to unveil Optimus Robot. But I'll tell you why I am actually positive on this and very optimistic on Optimus. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I just slipped out as I riff here quietly. So first of all, if they do have a bot, there are many different bots out there that can walk and jump and do all sorts of things. But the key, what success will look like if they do do a prototype demonstration of the actual bot Optimus, it's very important that it can do multiple unscripted actions. Truly think for itself, not follow a line of code or a pattern or something that has been pre ordained or predetermined for it to do. Very important. So we'll watch for that if it does have that AI capability. Second, of course, we care about stock valuation. That's the reason for this video. So let's jump into this piece as well. And one of the things that Elon Musk did say, which is very stunning, he said the robot business eventually it could be worth more than Tesla's car revenue, according to Musk, who is now touting vision for the company as the company goes beyond making self-driving electric vehicles. And uh, again, this is where I got really excited when he said that. And I started modeling out price predictions and fathoming exactly how far this could go. And these numbers are very, very exciting. So first of all, um, AI and robotics are the future. It's kind of very terrifying to many, especially as I say, if, if you're planning, and I've been urging people for over a year now, if you're planning to go to school, do something that's creative, do something that a robot cannot easily do or else you could be in trouble looking for a job in 10 or 15, 20 years. So think about that plan forward as well. And uh, Musk as well has said many, many other things, but we'll dig into some of them right now and try to tease out some information as to how big this could be. So I built a model as usual, and I talked about the bot, the bro Optimus robot, uh, TAM, which is total addressable market assumptions. First of all, I only assumed it would be operational and sold in the United States. I also picked up a piece from Elon Musk that the price of the bot would be less than the price of a vehicle. Assuming an average vehicle is worth about thirty-five or $40,000, the price would be a little bit less to the tune of 5000 especially as they scale. And uh, the job that it'll do will replace about 10% of what factory workers do in the United States. And that could be lifting heavy things and moving them, etc. And it is not going to touch the services business, which is far greater than the factory worker uh, numbers of employees. I think services make up something like 88% of the US employment. Uh, farming is about 1.6% and the rest is kind of factory type work. And the predictions are for the year 2026, which is only about 1200 days away, not that far out. Again, it might be a little too optimistic, but again, picking up all the different pieces from what Elon Musk said, I'm kind of positive. So first of all, let's calculate some bot total addressable market, which is TAM. You'll hear that word a few times over the next couple of slides, calculation. First here, you have total annual US factory wages of about 5 trillion. And that's from the Loop Funds paper. Uh, Elon Musk believes Optimus could disrupt 10% of factory worker jobs, which means the market size is 10% of 5 trillion, which is about 500 billion. Now, what I did was, and this is just, you know, I'll zoom out here for a second. This is just the way I think about how big the market could be. And I, as far as I know, nobody's done this work before. So this is the first time anybody's ever seen this. Um, the average bot cost, uh, Elon Musk says it's under the price of a vehicle. I assumed $40,000 per bot. Obviously, they'll be a lot more ex expensive uh, before they start ramping production like everything else, but will get cheaper over time. The average factory uh, wage salary per year is about $65,000. And therefore, the total addressable market, which is the uh, total addressable market divided by the average salary is about 
3.69 million bots, which would be 307.7 billion dollars of revenue, potential demand. Okay, so I hope you follow that. Now, what I'm going to do next is compare this to the size of their vehicle market, because at the very beginning, Elon Musk says he believes the bot will be worth a much bigger business than the vehicle business. So when we look at the bot total addressable market for auto sales, my estimate for Tesla, my conservative sandbagged estimate, is in 2026, Tesla will make 5 million vehicles. It's actually higher than that in my true model, but just conservatively here, Average selling price again, 40,000. This will go down over time as they ramp production and as they also have a compact vehicle that's going to set to be about 25,000, uh, that's going to come out as well. So the ASP will fall over time. Total revenue, 5 million times 40,000 is 200 billion. And annual car sales today is about 2.5 trillion. So Tesla market share in 2026 will be about 8%. Their margin is extremely high, 30%, which includes things like rebates from governments for EVs. And the profit will be about 60 billion, which excludes other product lines like their energy business. And the market cap will be about 2.4 trillion at a PE of 40. Okay, so let's smash these two together and see how they compare. Again, remember everybody, it's a theoretical model. Okay, this is not financial advice, uh, but I'm interested to see what these numbers will look like in 2026. So here, the bot revenue estimate is about 307 billion, margin about 92 billion, market cap of the business, just the bot alone entity, about $3.7 trillion. And based on the number of shares right now, about 3.13 billion shares, that's about 11 $180 a share. Now the car revenue estimate, 200 billion, margin 60 billion, uh, market cap 2.4 trillion, share price 767. You add the 1180 plus the 767, you get my 2026 bull price target of $1,946. And the ROI from today is about 548, 549%. That is the model you can see here, Elon Musk, if I backed into his numbers correctly, he is correct that the bot business could be worth a lot more than the car business. And also the margins on bots, you know, they, they can be leased out and maybe charge a function of salary or an hourly weight, a rate. Imagine instead of uh, paying a factory worker $20, they will farm out the bots and charge $15 an hour, but they'll work them 24 hours a day. That's the difference. And that's where a lot of money can be made if they have a lease type model instead of just selling the bot itself. Because Elon Musk also said he believes the FSD price is too cheap for what it is. Because people ultimately one day will be able to use their own cars as being kind of a revenue generating robo taxi uh, for themselves. So let's talk about a little bit of caution first. Can't all be optimism from Optimus. But uh, Musk did claim that Tesla would deploy 1 million robo-taxis on the road by 2020, and zero have been delivered to date. So be careful of that. Sometimes, you know, he says things, but the timeline can slip a lot. But also remember this, though. There are so many doubters out there for Elon Musk. And as I've been saying for years, don't bet against an individual that can land rockets like pencils on their butts and can take it cargo into space at 1 1,000th the cost of NASA, which is the space agency of the most sophisticated space country in the world. And remember, Elon has a habit of being optimistic with schedules, but eventually he does deliver. So that's my take. So this will be a very interesting next, say, 1,200 days to see exactly what happens if they can scale up this Optimus bot. So with that, hope you like it. Unique content. Hit the bell. Smash the like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all. See you later.